Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk no clamps on the CNC machine to hold your workpiece. And by that I mean what we're going to do, we're going to use tape and we're going to use super glue. That's right. The project that we're going to do is just a simple push stick, but that's not the real point behind this video. Yeah, push sticks are critical when it comes to table saws, but I want to show you this trick. Works great. Let's get started. I designed a couple of push sticks in easel and I want to prepare them to be able to carve. First thing I did is I opened up the project in the two different work pieces and then I removed the outline from the work piece and left only the pawpaw. By doing that I'll cut the pawpaw first using a sixteenth of an inch bit. On the second work piece, I did the exact opposite. In this case, I was going to go up and remove the pawpaw workshop, leaving only the outline. And this time I'll be using an eighth inch bit to make this carve. To protect my waste board from getting it cut, I put down an auxiliary waste board that I don't mind getting cut. Now that I have my auxiliary waste board in place, I'm going to go ahead and attach my actual workpiece. And in this case, because I am going to be cutting it all the way through, it is very critical to know exactly how thick this material is. And it looks like 0.18 is going to be the thickness as far as the average, because I got 0 0.16, 0 0.17 had 0.18 and also had a 0.19. So we're going to use 0.18 to be able to do this. I'm also going to use the super glue and tape method to be able to adhere this. Because I don't need to put clamps here. So the first thing I'm going to do is put a piece of blue tape down on my workpiece. And I'm going to let it hang over long. I don't want it to be the exact same length. Now then, what we're going to be doing is flipping it over and attaching it this way. So I'm going to need another piece of blue tape. That's going to be right underneath here on my auxiliary workpiece. So that's where the first one will go. That piece will sit right on top. And this is where my second piece will go. So let's slide this out of the way for a moment. I have the extra piece extending beyond the work piece because it makes it so much easier to be able to remove when the carve is done. Let's straight that back out. There we go. Now, the important thing is it doesn't take a whole lot of super glue really just one line coming through here is all that you need. Okay, we'll put this in place. We'll press it down good. We'll hold that for a few seconds and we'll be ready. As you can see, as the carve takes place with the sixteenth of an inch bit, there is no movement whatsoever. The tape and the super glue hold extremely well. So with this back in position now, everything is ready. I'm going to turn the spindle on, and we're ready to carve. As we begin the second carve, cutting the outline with the eighth inch bit, you can see once again that the super glue and the tape hold extremely well. There is no movement whatsoever. Okay, with everything completed now, and I've moved the router out of the way, we can just separate it. And this is the advantage of having the tape here. It just lifts right up. Okay. And there's the completed project. I'm going to take it over to the sander. We'll sand off the edges, clean it up a little bit, and that will complete the push fix. Thank you for watching my video today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment, 
and by all means subscribe to my channel. As always, have fun, be safe, take care now.